Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Robert Bruton and I host the Robert Bruton Podcast Show. And I also am an author. Uh, you can find my books on Amazon. Uh, what a shameful plug. But, uh, I, you know, and I was recording a uh, podcast so my uh, you guys can go, oh my God, he's got those retarded uh, headphones on and you can have a good laugh with it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's... Uh, that's the way it is, and, and so we're we're going to start this series, and I w- really wanted to start vlogging about it because I haven't paid as much attention to our YouTube channel and as I want to, so hello YouTube, and I'm very grateful that you're here, and I hope that you will um, uh, subscribe to our channel because I'm going to start uh, doing these every day. As you can see, the Start From Scratch series, I wanted to kind of really talk about because we're shooting a documentary around the same thing but I really wanted to put some vlogs out there as you can see I'm, I'm not sitting somewhere in some fancy uh, uh, studio I'm not uh, uh, I've got on my headphones and my mic you know I'm not you know I don't have this you know I don't have on a beautiful clothes or or you know it's just learning to start from where you are okay and that's really a lot about what my books uh, talk about, um, you know, I was talking about in a, in another uh, podcast that, you know, I, I have to remember to practice what I preach, basically. So when I was going through, I realized that I hadn't been uh, what, reading my goals. I had forgot to set that reminder for me to read my goals. And I'm like, yeah, that, you know, I need to do that. Okay, I need to see and track where I'm at with the goals that I have. So I go back and I start reading my goals and it says, uh, in 2019, publish my first book. And I'm like, oops, I didn't publish one. I published six since so since I made that uh, deal. And I, I set it out to publish one by this year. And I've published six since I set the goal up about a year ago so uh, I've been writing pretty prolifically um, you know so uh, I was I, I was I was truly amazed with that I was like oh my god that's pretty cool so I'm actually going to take that and doll it up a little bit and frame it and, and keep it uh, as a reminder that I first off I can do what I set my mind to and second of all what I do works, you know, and I have to follow it, so, uh, just to give you a little, and this is not a boring background of, of what's going on, is I write about, podcast about, and blog about, and now vlog about, um, my journey in, in my, and changing my life, and making, you know, finally sitting down and going, you know what, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I've lost the last damn thing I'm going to lose on this earth, which was someone that I deeply cared for. Um, and, you know, you just kind of look back and you go, damn, you know, how much more shit have I got to lose? How much more stuff if, if, is going to go away? How many more of this, that? And I started really researching and... For those of you that maybe follow me, you know, know that I have the Life Research Project and that's where we're studying life. We research life and our our cells, for most of us, we're a constant project. So hence, that's why I came up with the Life Research Project. And and we podcast a lot about that. We podcast a lot about and I chronicle the, the changes that I've experienced and the resources that I've used to get me from a very dark place in my life to get me to a really happy spot, a really great spot. You know, um, when I look back at the year and I'm thinking, wow, you know, it was an emotional wreck, train wreck for me. And it dawned on me because I I really kind of wasn't keeping score. And I went, holy moly, I, I, I wrote six books this year. Damn okay uh that's an accomplishment that's an achievement uh by any measure you know and i was like okay 
So if I can do that in the midst of, you know, uh, financial ruin, uh, ch changing cities, moving eight hours from where I called home uh, out to West Texas, and thank God I did because I had the support uh, of my family, and I was able to really turn things around. I was able to uh, find a, a good church home. I was able to really get back into my spiritual uh, journey, and and I was doing that uh, a years ago, and I stopped, and it was stupid to stop. Uh, I don't know that it would have made any difference, and uh, the big life changes that I went through uh, to get here, but uh, that's neither, you know, I, I, I'm not looking at it as spilt milk. I'm looking at it as I should have never stopped. So this time, now that I'm into this spiritual journey, I'm not going to stop for anybody or any reason. And, uh, and, and you shouldn't either. And that's one of the things that we're going to really hit on is you know uh, one of one of my most or one of the most favorite quotes <laughs> that I think and it was cool in the movie is uh, when uh, I don't know if you guys watch Suicide Squad but uh, when Harley Quinn uh, says you know uh, uh, tells El Diablo you know own that shit own it you know and it resonated with me that I got to own my own shit, you know, and I got to own my stuff. And when I do that, and when I've been able to do that, um, it's life changing. Okay, it really is, because there's nobody that's going to change me. Yes, I've had good support. And I've had I've had good support from my church. I've had good support from my family. I've had good support from books that I read. I've had good support from the internet. I've had good support on YouTube as far as finding great content. Like I hope you'll find my video uh, that helps because you can change. In the midst of the hardest thing in your life, I promise you, you can change. You know. I bought and paid for a divorce that I didn't want. I paid for it, you know, because I, I I told my ex I said if you want to if you want a divorce then go file it and and you do it because I'm out I'm not doing it. And subsequently I did it. And subsequently through all that I've had to realize that our destinies weren't aligned. Our destinies in our life, she, God has a different plan for her. God has a different plan for me. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt like hell. But I'm through it. I understand. And so now I'm going to embrace what will come for me next. You know, and, and a lot of things in life uh, come to you when you are receptive to receive um, anything, any sort of blessing, okay? And uh, it took me a long, long time to get there where I understand, in fact, it was just a month ago that I had this amazing moment where I really knew that God was there, that He was watching out for me and that even though I had a mustard seed of faith, he was there. And if any of you read the Bible, you know that Jesus was saying that, that if you have a mustard seed of faith, you can move a mountain. And that's all I had. I was back in a dark place. I was back in a, you know, and, and it just became difficult. And then in the, the absolute midst and depths of hell, I kept saying, God has me, God has me, God has me. And there you have it. I, I had something happen that um, made all the difference in the world in my life. And just more than anything, let me know that God was there. So it really, really, really helped me with my faith. And, you know, it's 
it, I'm not talking about, you know, playing a tambourine at the airport. I'm talking about you and God having a relationship, uh, however that folds out for you. Um, you can have it. I can tell you that it's made immense changes in my life. Immense changes in my life. I want to tell you a little story that I tell in my podcast a lot. Um, I share it a lot because it, it was when I first got to West Texas, uh, I was an emotional wreck. Okay. Um, I pretty much, you know, I've, I, I had a job, but it, there was not much hope of me holding that job just because I was so depressed. And uh, uh, so anyway, I, I had some real help from my family. My, my brother-in-law and my sister helped me a lot. Um, you know, my mother was there for me, uh, my son. And uh, I was able to, to really get through uh, and hold on when I didn't, I couldn't find a reason to hold on to anything. So I decided one day I got online, I started looking for a church. And I found one, I started going. I usually sat through two services on Sunday because my head was so screwed up, I couldn't get half the stuff he was saying. And so I'd have to listen to uh, the second service just to get half of what he said out of two because uh, my head was just blue, 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 blue. It was just spinning. And it was a pain in the ass. And I couldn't focus. I couldn't quiet my mind. And later we'll get into vlogs about how you can do that. Um, so anyway, speed it up a few weeks, a month or so. I'm sitting there, and I'm really not ever saying anything to anybody. I sit in the back. Nobody knows me from Adam. Okay, there's not a soul in that entire church that knew me by name. Okay, nobody, I mean, every now and again, people, you know, ushers would say hello, and I'd say hi, and I'd just kind of duck my head and go sit in my spot and, you know, look at my phone until church started. And so one day, at the end of the service, you know, most churches do what's called an altar call. Sometimes they ask you to come to the front. Sometimes they just get you to bow your head, close your eyes, and lift your hand if you want to give your life to Christ. If you want to make a confession and, and say, I, I need God in my life. I need to walk with Jesus. And um, so for, for years and years and years, all that seemed like really stupid and foreign to me. And I didn't understand it. And I didn't understand that, you know, you can't really have a life that you want without having some spiritual awareness in your life, having some spiritual connectedness uh, to a higher power. And, and, and I choose to call God. And so, this one Sunday morning, you know, he's calling, and, and so I raised my hand. You know, there's no, you know, it's, it's been a few Sundays, and so I finally raised my hand, and, I, and, and you hear him say, thank you, sir, you can put your hand down. I put my hand down. Usher comes over, hands me a, a CD, What to Do Next, and that was a really good CD. And so anyway, here's the, here's the real rub to the story. So the, I, everybody's standing there, everybody's still standing up. The pastor starts walking across the stage and he turns around and he goes, sir, sir. And I'm sitting there going, who the hell is he talking to, sir? And I look and I realize that he's talking to me and I, you know how you do, you go, me? And he goes, yes, 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 you, sir. And he goes, I don't know why, but he said, God just told me, whatever you're doing creatively, keep doing it. Well, at that time, I was taking photographs, posting them online, posting them on places to sell my photographs. I was blogging, okay? Uh, I was writing articles for people, and I was doing creative things because I, I told myself when I got here, I'm going to do what I want to do, not what I have to do. Nobody, here's the thing, nobody in that church knew who I was. 
I didn't wear a thing that says, hey, I'm Robert Bruton from Robert Bruton Show, or hey, I'm Robert Bruton from robertbruton.com. I, I didn't have on anything that said that. Nobody knew me. I never said anything to anybody other than hello, good morning, and nice to see you too. Uh, and nobody that I knew went to that church. Yet, the pastor stopped in the service and told me that God told him to tell me to keep doing what I was doing creatively. Man, that was powerful. That was like, what the hell just happened? So, okay. So that gives me some glimmer of hope. All right. Then I go through some more stuff and some more stuff and some more stuff, you know, and it, and it, I'm up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's just crazy, you know, but, f and, and I was reading books, you know, Battlefield of the Mind and some other things that, that helped me to understand and it was through a YouTube video that had TD Jakes in it where I was sitting there and I and I, honestly I was I was driving back to where I stay and from my sisters and I, I so I just put on a YouTube video and it had TD Jakes on it and I said okay well let's see what Bishop Jakes has to say today and Anyway, he was sitting there, and I'll never forget this. You know, he, he, he was talking about, you, you know, you're going to go through hell. The enemy is not going to let you go. You know, if you believe, in, if you're a Christian and you believe in, in heaven and hell and all, you know, and, the, and that there is a demon and there is an enemy that's going to attack you, well, I was under they were lobbing mortar fire and I was I was they were on my position and I couldn't I, I couldn't see any hope and then some he said something that just struck me he said the reason you're getting attacked so hard is because the enemy is afraid of you he's afraid of your power he's about to lose you to what I call the good side and he's not going to play fair. He's going to remind you of every single solitary bad thing you've ever done in your life and is going to illuminate that in 4K color. In fact, some days it comes in 8K and they don't even have 8K cameras to film you yet. So I was like, damn, and, and it just hit me. And I remember it hit me so hard that it, it because I understood it why now I had a good reason why I was getting attacked the way that I was getting attacked because I was trying so hard I was working all the time I was meditating praying I was doing everything I was yoga everything I was had done previous before and I was doing it and I was changing and some days I had really 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 great days but some days, man, I was like, oh, my God, no, I, I, I'd, I'd rather not be here than go through this. And I, ha and I got to those dark places. And I remember after hearing that, I had to stop the car. I had to pull over, and I sobbed, sobbed like a baby because I got it. it un I understood it. So my point to all this is, is that you can start from scratch. You can start out with nothing, okay? Uh, who is it? I, I, I'm trying to think that said um, uh, the bottom of the barrel is a great foundation to build up. You know, when you're at the bottom of your barrel or you're at the, you've hit the ground. The ground's a great place to build, build up. That's a foundation that you can build from, and a foundation, a foundation that I built from. So that's a really amazing thing. So. I hope that you will do these things, and I hope that you'll start following. Uh, there'll be a, there, I'm going to have links in the description for everything where I'm at. Go look, okay? Don't just judge this video and say, well, this, uh, what, this bald-headed dude that wears a headset's got something to tell me? I've been through, I've gone through hell and back. I've made some amazing changes. I've done some things that I hope that I share with you that will help your journey go a little quicker, a little, and, and you'll know that you're not alone. 
that in the deepest depths of hell we can find our way out we can find our way back to life is my life exactly where I want it to be certainly not certainly not but I am well on the way okay do I have tough days where I want to give up sure you know I'm doing some things currently that I, I don't like doing I don't like the people I'm dealing with I don't like doing them you know but it's a stepping stone to my future it is not my destiny it is a stepping stone to get there plus it teaches me patience if I can't be totally happy where I am how can I move on how can I be given more if I can't handle what I got today so I can handle what I got today and I'm learning and I'm, I'm being and I'm learning patience and I'm learning how to to do this and I'm learning to have faith that I'm saying okay God not sure why I'm here but I'm here I'm grateful for the warm sunshine I'm grateful for a place to shoot this vlog I'm grateful that my phone's on I'm grateful that my truck payments made I'm grateful that I have electricity I'm grateful that my dogs are healthy I'm grateful that I'm somewhat healthy hence the reason that I'm doing I started I started doing a diet today and we'll get into that in another vlog uh, but I really just wanted to kind of get the vlog more more started if that's a, a grammatically uh, as a writer I, I don't think that's more started is a is grammatically correct but uh, that's my that's my that's my uh, urban dictionary uh, uh, deal uh, we're more started so uh, I hope that you'll stay with me and uh, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, go check out uh, uh, my podcast and all of that stuff's going to be in the description below hit the subscribe button as the as the kids on the on here say smash that subscribe button I dig it and uh, I'll have some more really uh, engaging content that's that's kind of that's more funneled into a specific subject but I kind of wanted to hit on a couple of places today and really just uh, I, you know, like they say, it's, it's it, you know, I, I answered a thing on Twitter the other day um, on this writing group of, of people. They're saying, you know, what's the, the best and worst writing advice that you got? And I said, well, the best writing advice I ever got was just write, just do it. So when I get my head there and I just do it and I just write, then I come up with some pretty cool stuff. And I can almost and honestly say I come up with some crap, you know, but I get it out there and 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 if people say it's crap then i'll take it down if not then you know uh there's an ass for every seat you know so uh you'll you know sometimes i might think it's crap and somebody goes oh my god it changed my life you have no idea and uh i just you know and then the worst advice i got is do you really think you can write books i mean that wasn't advice but it was like do you really think that that you can do that you know and my whole point to all of what I do too is the fact that I don't you know people have told you that you can't do things probably all your life it's indoctrinated into us when we when we're kids and, and it's either knowingly or unknowingly people are are giving us limiting beliefs and society is giving you limiting beliefs that you can't do something well I say horse shit you can do whatever the hell you want and I'm and I'm living proof of that okay um people who may have be critical of my books i will tell them i'm sorry i didn't see your book on amazon i have six so um you know don't don't let somebody's limiting beliefs uh steal your joy okay my joy is not for sale not for someone who's offering me some horse shit well you know uh well that's this and you know okay well, I can put a thousand more people here that say that it was pretty good stuff. So, you know, it, it's uh, it's a fun journey. It's a journey I hope that we can take together. And uh, it's amazing, you know, you you move off this way and you're thinking, oh, crap, where am I? You know, I, I don't get it. And then all of a sudden you're, you're something happens. You go, holy crap, I'm here. You know, it's just like me finding out, that, you know, when, when I was looking through my goals, I went, oh, shit, I haven't, I haven't published one, but six. And no matter what happens, that's an achievement for me. Okay, that's something I hit a goal and I hit it in spades. 
and and I'm still writing. I'm still got lots of stuff that I'm putting out and, and lots of posts and articles and and that's me. That's my new life. That's what I want to do. And it gives me joy and pleasure. So thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to try to get this where I'm doing it also with when I'm podcasting so that you guys can see uh, when I'm shooting a podcast and when I'm doing a vlog. So uh, we'll try to tie those all together and, and uh, make it kind of cool. But I wanted to kind of make these raw videos for a little while uh, just to show you that it, it, you don't stop waiting for the right moment stop waiting for the right gear stop waiting for the right studio stop waiting for all this shit because if you do that you're going to stifle any kind of growth at all you can't be more if you don't take steps forward no matter what the, you don't have to be playing on an astroturf field to you know does that make sense you don't have to be shooting with a 4k fifty thousand dollar medium format camera to be a great photographer you don't have to have some fancy car you don't have to have fancy clothes you don't have to be skinny you don't have to be fat you don't have to be because here's what it boils down to you can be any damn thing you want to be but you know what you got to do you got to start you got to go you got to make it, you know, Steve Harvey says, jump. If you don't know, I'm going to leave you with this because I've said it. And those of you that are just new to this, you'll know. If you listen to my podcast, it takes me forever to shut up. It takes me forever to shut down a show. Okay, so I, I, I can see that's going to spill over into my vlog too. Okay, no, no worries. All right, but here's the this, here's this skinny. Steve Harvey has a, a video on YouTube. When you get done with this one, go to jump. Steve Harvey, jump. Okay, that's what I did. I jumped. All right, guys. Well, my name is Robert Bruton, and this is the Robert Bruton Show, and it's all part of the Life Research Project. And as you get to know me and get to know more, you will understand everything that I'm talking about. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Thanks.